You can't play loud music. You can't mow your lawn. And everything is closed. Is Sunday not fun day in Germany? Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie. And I'm Aubrey. And we are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living and traveling throughout Europe. One of the biggest things that you hear foreigners living in Germany complain about is the fact that everything is shut down on Sundays and there are all kinds of rules to keep you from making any noise. I'm not sure if there's a single differences between Germany and USA video or blog post that doesn't include the Sunday differences and all of the rules you must follow in Germany to ensure that you are relaxing and not infringing on the rights of others to chill. From not being allowed to mow your lawns so that you don't disturb the peace, to not being able to vacuum so you don't disturb your neighbors, to grocery stores being shut down so you must schedule your life in order that you don't starve to death on Sundays, foreigners in Germany must learn to manage in this Sunday culture and do Sundays as the Germans do. But that's the question. What do Germans do on Sundays? And that is exactly what we're going to talk about today in our video, Sunday is Fun Day, just in a different way in Germany. Our experiences are definitely specific to where we are originally from, a state in the southern U.S. called Oklahoma, and where we live now in the southwestern German state of Rhineland Falls. Both of these places have their own unique subcultures that may not be representative of the two countries as a whole. Therefore, let us know your experiences with these things in the comments below and where you're from. Before we get started looking at this aspect of the German culture in comparison to the one we grew up with, we want to tell you that besides watching videos like these, one of the best ways to really learn about a culture is by learning their language. Because of that, we are happy to tell you about today's sponsor, italki. Italki offers personalized one-on-one -on -one lessons in over 130 languages and from 15,000 high quality teachers that set their own pricing so you can find one that suits your budget. With italki, you simply find a teacher that fits your schedule, tell them what you want to learn, and you get customized lesson plans specific to your goals. With the control you have and the personalized attention you get from italki's high quality teachers and service, you will save both time and money in achieving your language learning goals by learning in one of the fastest ways possible and on your budget. In fact, just 19 hours of lessons on italki is equivalent to a semester in college. You can find your teacher today and start learning with three discounted trial lessons. Also to help out our viewers, if you use the link in our description and our special code PASSPORT, italki will be giving you a special buy $10 and get $5 off deal to help you get going at finally achieving your language learning goals. <laughs> Let's briefly go over what makes Sundays unique in Germany in comparison with the US because in reality, the idea of restricting some businesses on Sundays is not unknown in the US. Blue laws are a big part of US history, but today it very much depends on what state you're in or even sometimes what part of a state you're in and whether they have laws restricting business on Sundays or not. Or if they do, what is restricted may be different from one to another. For example, in our home state of Oklahoma, the blue laws vary county by county, but may include restrictions on car dealerships being open on Sundays or restricted packaged alcohol sales. This does not mean that just because there aren't laws prohibiting them to be open, that all businesses will be open on Sundays though. For example, banks are commonly closed, some smaller family-owned retail shops may close, or even massive international chains may be closed, like Chick-fil-A famously is. Which as a side note, is an atrocity that Germany just has KFC, but not a single Chick-fil-A. But on Sundays in Oklahoma, we we're still able to go grocery shopping or run errands at most retail stores. We just may not be able to buy a car or a chicken sandwich. The attitude towards Sundays are also quite different depending on what part of the country you are in and your religious affiliation. For people in the Bible Belt, like where we are from, Sundays are still very much religious days and means going to church every Sunday morning for many people and even sometimes Sunday evenings as well. In large parts of the US, if not 
everywhere. American football is also a major religion, with Sundays spent with friends and family watching all the professional football games played that day, kicking off around 11 a.m. and going late into the night. These often will be accompanied with a large grill party, a barbecue, tailgating, or any other form of a large meal and snacks. To give a clearer picture based on actual data, in an article by the Washington Post from 2014, we see that Sunday in America is the day when things like religious activities, doing laundry, and watching TV peaks during the week, and is the second most popular day of the week to go grocery shopping, socializing, and eating and drinking. People point to American consumerism as the reason that stores are open on Sundays, and that definitely can't be denied. Based on the data and from our own experience, we see a big emphasis on Sundays for having fun and relaxing, but also getting chores and errands done. For many Americans who work Monday through Friday, Saturday may be the play day and Sunday is the only day of the week where they have time to get errands and chores done. This is in contrast to Germany where there are many more laws restricting what can or cannot be open on Sundays. When you walk around a German town on Sunday, you won't find grocery stores open, most retail stores will be closed, and according to the local.de, Germany is renowned for having some of the strictest laws for opening hours in Europe. However, this does not mean everything is shut down. You can still go to most restaurants who will have a different day of the week that they are closed on to make up for it, or cinemas and pools will be open as a couple of examples. Germany also refers to Sunday as Ruhetag, meaning quiet day or resting day, and has fairly strict rules in place about not doing activities that can disturb the peace. This can include lawn mowing, vacuuming, construction, or listening to loud music. These are generally enforced by the old ladies watching out their windows in each village to ensure everybody follow the rules, but they can also bring you a hefty fine from actual official authorities as well. The German government actually still puts a pretty big influence on this day of rest from a Christian religious perspective, but also to guarantee at least one day of rest for workers in Germany to avoid a seven day work week. So with the feeling that everything is shut down on Sundays in Germany, many ask, what are you supposed to do on Sundays here? To get a better idea of what Sundays look like in Germany, we decided there wasn't any better way of finding out than just going straight to the source and asking you, our German audience, what it is that you do on Sundays. On Instagram and on our YouTube community tab, we simply asked the question, how do you spend your Sundays? And here is how you answered. We got a lot of unique answers that only a few people mentioned like napping, washing their car, fishing, taking a bath, going for a drive, or preparing for the upcoming week. Going for a drive was particularly interesting because this is one of the biggest Sunday pastimes in the US that even has its own title, Sunday drive. Even though Germany is world famous for their cars, this doesn't seem to be such a popular activity because people may be a little bit more environmentally conscious, but mainly gas is just so incredibly expensive here that it isn't really an economical activity. However, one of our responses specifically mentioned now that they have gone electric, this is something that they enjoy doing on a Sunday afternoon. In our personal experience, Sundays in Germany are the best days to go for a drive because non-essential semi trucks are not allowed to drive and this leaves the roads relatively comfortable without all of those large trucks clogging up the Autobahn. After those more unique responses, some slightly more popular responses were things like day trips, gardening, eating a big lunch, going to church, cleaning, biking, gaming, reading, playing soccer, or any other form of sports, cafe und Kuchen, and sleeping in. We were honestly surprised because we would have thought that cafe und Kuchen would be one of the most common things Germans do on a Sunday, but it fell in this mid-tier section of popularity. Simply taking an afternoon pause for a slice of cake and a cup of coffee is one of our favorite German traditions to pause, relax, and enjoy the company of friends or family. So it is our mission to get more people doing this. Just under the most popular activities our responders say they do on Sunday were things like watching TV, simply relaxing, or having a large German Sunday morning breakfast. Quite a few responders mentioned that they catch up on their favorite shows on Netflix or Amazon Prime, but quite a few also mentioned that they specifically watch the Sendung mit der Maus, Sonntags Märchen, and Tatort in the evening. A big Sunday breakfast or brunch was the number three most popular Sunday activity and seems pretty integral to German weekends. For us, this is interesting because Sunday mornings mean church in our part of the US, and therefore Saturday mornings are the mornings for waking up a little bit later and having a big special breakfast. There are a few things that are also specific to many German Sunday breakfasts that were commented like fried or soft boiled eggs, a 
assorted deli meats, and many Germans mentioned running by their bakery to grab some Brötchen, or bread rolls. Of all the activities that we gathered in our responses, there were two things that stood out as the very clear, most important parts of a Sunday in Germany. The second place activity was going on a walk or hike. Like we mentioned earlier that Americans like to go on Sunday drives, Germans love their Sonntag Spaziergänge or Sunday walks. I would say that in the US, people will also go for walks around their neighborhoods on Sunday afternoons after lunch, but Germany does seem to take the Sunday walk to a whole next level. These can be leisurely strolls around town, strolls in the countryside, walks down to the local ice cream shop, or Germans getting decked out in their hiking gear, grabbing their Nordic hiking poles, and taking off into the forest and hills. <laughs> Before we get to the number one activity that edged out everything else, there was one thing that was completely missing from the comments we received that we were quite surprised by, and maybe you can shed some light on, but a German sauna was not mentioned once. From what we have seen on Google, where it shows the busy times of businesses, Sunday afternoons tend to be the highest traffic times of the week for saunas. Our guess is that it is because they are all shut down and have been for the last seven months, so people haven't been doing that recently and therefore didn't mention it, but leave in the comments, do you visit the sauna on a Sunday if they are open, or do you go on a different day of the week if you go, and how often do you do so? The most common German Sunday activity that we gathered in our responses is spending time with family and or friends. Now we do have to note that most of the activities we mentioned already were specifically said to have been done with family or friends. For example, a lot of people mentioned having family over for that big Sunday breakfast or going on that Sonntag Spaziergang with their family. Many people also mentioned driving or taking the train to visit their parents or grandparents every single Sunday where they would spend time over a cup of coffee and slice of cake. Overall, Germans seem to really put a big emphasis on making time for family or friends on Sundays rather than simply spending time by themselves. Honestly, Sundays in Germany and the US don't look totally different besides that Americans can do a little more shopping or errand running on a Sunday, but Sundays still have a big emphasis for relaxing and resting in the US for those that don't have to work. Heck, in both countries, we even have a massive focus on watching what we call football. We know for many Germans, they would rather give up being able to go to the store on Sunday to have the peace of mind that almost everybody in their society is guaranteed a day off to relax, and we think that is great. Of course, we will acknowledge that our sampling of responses is specific to the demographics of our channel, so these aren't exactly scientific findings, but let us know in the comments how your Sundays align with a typical American or German Sunday based on this video. To see who made it this far in the video, the random question of the week that isn't really that random this week, but what is your favorite day of the week? Remember to hit that like and subscribe button and we will see you in our next video. Tschüss! And is the second most popular day of the week to go grocery shopping, socializing in and tatort in the evening. And tatort in the evening. A big Sunday breakfast Tatort. Tatort. I can't remember where you put the emphasis on that word. Is it tatort or tatort?